Hi guys, we're back. Uh, this is video number two of five. Uh, right now, we're opening the second of the fifth Strict Haven School of Mages uh, Commander 2021. Right now, we're on the second part of it, and uh, we already opened these, as they said, the best um, of the series, which is Quantum Quandrix, the uh, Simic Colors. Now, we're opening the um, Boros Colors with Oscar the Reconstructor. Uh, this is more of like giants and artifacts. Boros is usually like mainly um, artifact based. They love art. For some reason, they love artifacts this color and they're more aggressive. Uh, dwarves, giants, these are the, the guys that you would most likely encounter once you um, play this deck. So the good thing with this is that I just discovered that there's these uh, planeswalker tokens, I would say, uh, punch out, as they say, uh, counters, and then you can't really use this. It's really up to you on how to, if you can reuse this uh, commander that's attached to the actual box. And then you also get the learn learn to play how to play commander or how to play specifically commander if you already know how to play magic you get this guide and you also get i forgot to mention on my first video the life counter which is the boros life counter in this case so let's go ahead and unbox this one Okay. And as per mentioned, there's no oversized cards this time. For me, it's a good thing because me, I'm not a fan of those overuse. Oh, sorry, oversized cards. Okay. And those don't even have that much value to begin with. So we'll go with Osgir, the Reconstructor. What he does is he's a 4-4 four, four, for 4 mana. I don't think it's a bad deal. And Vigilance. And has two abilities. Sacrifice an artifact. Target creature control gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. So you can actually use him by himself. I mean that, that plus two plus zero for himself. And then exile an artifact card with mana value X from your graveyard. Create two tokens that are copies of the exiled card. Activate only as a sorcery. So as I said, um, he uses the, the, the Boris usually uses artifacts. One thing that came to mind right now as I was thinking, is that I'm not sure if you know that card from Ice Age and during renewal. Uh, it's an enchantment where you, can, you reveal your hand, but uh, you can cast artifacts. And then you also, ha but however, when a, when a creature comes in, it goes into the graveyard, it goes back into your hand. So you can use Ornithopter. It's a zero to cast artifact, zero to flying, and sacrifice it to Goblin Bombardment which is when you sacrifice a creature, it deals one damage to target creature or player. So you just do that loop, you get unlimited, I mean, anyone dies, plus you get the unlimited plus two plus zero and make him him or whichever creature you want plus, plus a million or plus zero until end of turn. So this can be a one of the better combos, combo cards pieces that you may use or as a giant per se on a um, tribal tribal deck okay and you also get the second commander slash um another legend which is alibu ancient witness other art artifact creatures you control have haste this is really more aggressive whenever one or more artifact creatures you control attack alibu ancient witness deals x damage to any target and you scry x where x is the number of tap artifacts you control Secret Rendezvous, Junior Burnt, each draw three cards, Reconstruct History, Rip Apart, this is from Strixhaven 2, and this is a good uncommon after Boros Signet and Lightning Helix. For for that same amount of mana, it's either three damage to target creature Planeswalker or Artifact or Enchantment, destroy like a disenchant. Then you get those um, semi Skylands, Study Hall, Dark Steel Mutation, which is good. They reprinted this one, so you make uh, any creature useless, basically. Dispatch, this is where you exile 
if you had three or more artifacts which most likely you would have in this deck return to dust one of the better um it's a better disenchant version though it's more more casting cost but still it's a great um especially in, in commander that you may need uh, to destroy one or more artifacts or enchantments in the game sanctum gargoyle faithless looting quicksmith genius top tier engineer as aforementioned uh boris charm uh which is great that they have this arcane signet i'm glad they reprinted it because this is as i said the the next next stone to fellower stone boros locket burnished heart commander's fear uh hedron archive ikor wellspring meteor golem mind stone make a synth wellspring pilgrim's eye the best artifact ever for commander soul ring or artifact mana rock unstable obelisk ancient denim glad re they reprinted this because this is one of those um artifact lands that's that has the a, a much higher price value compared to the others boris garrison angel of the ruins this is exclusive on this commander archaeomancer's map bronze guardian dig site engineer excavation technique low shield lock work scholar these elephants are artifact lovers monologue tax audacious reshapers battle mages bracers cursed mirror leela the blade for reforged ruin grinder oh that's a cool ar artifact creature wake the past and then imagine this return all artifacts from your graveyard to the battlefield they'll get haste until end of turn this is like a living death kind of with uh, with haste triplicate titan i like this guy even though i know some people think this is crappy but for nine mana you you distribute when when he dies you get three 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 tokens with flying vigilance and trample cleansing nova with a different art this time i like the for me i like the older art though but this is cool as well route sun titan which is a giant you can never go wrong with sun titan Chain Reaction, Combustible Gear Hulk. Yeah, I like this Gear Hulk as well. The I know the blue one is the best, but this is for me the, the next closest to that blue Gear Hulk. The Ready, Felden of the Third Path, which he re, um, reanimates those artifacts to make them artifact creatures. Or any any art sorry or any creature per se, and then he makes them into artifacts. Hellkite Igniter. I'm glad they finally reprinted Hellkite Tyrant, because this the price of it is going skyrocket as well. Because, I mean, he he's way too strong, honestly. Regardless if it's commander or not, like if you control twenty or more artifacts, you win the game. Um, one one card I would suggest to to update this is put a make a synth lattice it um it's a uh, it's a six to cast artifact and then um it makes all permanents in play artifacts so when when this deals damage to a player gain control of artifacts basically gain control of everything that that they have period gg or you can also add a dark steel forge to make all your artifacts indestructible I would also put a goblin welder on this one just that's just me to upgrade it and then um yeah there's lots of rec graveyard recursion for for red white especially with artifacts they love to play with that horde smelter dragon pnlr jorka deem the prevailer bosch iron golem duplicant classic i love this guy i uh, can almost excel almost anything I mean, I don't really care if he, he, he becomes a, a creature shapeshifter after. But for me, the ability to do a colorless damage or co colorless um, colorless ability, I mean, especially in, in an EDH environment, there's more that has protection from, from whichever color because he's colorless. He's almost untouchable. Key to the city, mere battle sphere, and as well, just just as a reminder like there's a few that just has a, 
uh, protection from artifacts. There's just a few that you would see that would use that. Scrap crawler. Oh, sculpting steel. I like this card as well because you can copy any um, artifact on the battlefield, not just yours. Solemn Simulacrum, uh, Sad Robot, they call it. Uh, the the uh, super effective utility ability of this, I like it. Steel Hellkite, an alternate art version, because I know this was the, um, the there's a pre-release kind of foil of this guy. Steel Overseer, I'm glad they reprinted. And the, yeah, oh my goodness, I'm glad they, over, they reprinted this too. Thousand Year Elixir, I used to use this guy for, um, for, Ar Arkham Daxon, uh, that blue um, combo guy, Wizard, um, Battlefield Forge, Exotic Orchard, Slayer Stronghold, Temple of Triumph, Command Tower, Dark Steel Citadel, Forgotten Core, of course, Great Furnace. I'm not surprised that they put this here. Myriad Landscape, Phyrexia Core, Rogue's Passage, Secluded Step. Sun home, so you can make any creature double strike. Temple of the False God, couple of mountains and plains, and then you again get this. Um, this replaced the oversized card. It's a, it's a, your commander replacement, so you don't necessarily have to use the actual card if you don't have it. I love to keep these guys. I mean, I like again wizards and magic. Good job, guys. I like the idea of uh, having this. Um, to replace the uh, oversized cards. Then you get tokens, treasure, and copy tokens, and golems. Yeah, double-sided tokens. Overall, honestly, I was surprised with with, with what's inside. Um, the uh, This, pre this pre-constructed commander deck. Somehow, I think this matches the Quantum Quandrix but maybe the only difference between the two is that the um, quantum quandrix they have the the ability to to get more synergy it really depends on how you play the deck how you upgrade the deck this i would say playable again any of these decks can be playable by themselves but this i'm, I'm more of an artifact guy so i know that i'll be able to get more um more more ideas on how to upgrade and make this better but overall i love this deck i out of the five these two so far that we have opened are the really i would say the best ones by themselves I and mean, I, I wasn't surprised why they they came up in value quicker than the others okay so again thank you so much for your time until then thank you take care bye bye